Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how we can work on a 3D printer DaVinci Super. So I'll show you the software. They are using the uh, slicing software called XYZ. I will show you the software. And I will show you the machine uh, Super. The uh, DaVinci Super has big volume, printing volume, 300 by 300 by 300. And today I'm going to show you an example of how you can create simple part. I created already the part on another software and how, can, how we can load the file into the printer and overview about the printer. So let's go. So here we have the software XYZ. Okay. Once you open the software, You'll have this menu. Okay. Then you can import the file. As an example, I will go to document. I will go to STL. I need to do offset section. I will import this file. So here is my file. And I need to import another file to work in half section. Okay, so here's my two parts. I can use move tool here, move tool to move the parts as an example to this position and to this position. I can move another part, also the same, move this position and move it here close to this position, land. Okay, so once you are satisfied with the location and the part that you already created, this I created this part and this part. Let's say I want to only print one part and I will keep this part for later. Okay, I will delete this one. So I will click on this part. I will move it here to the corner. I go to export. I will go to load my profile. So load click on load so it show me that PLA 0.4 the nozzle diameter the head uh, the heated bit 45 the nozzle temperature 210 general speed support in this case I will use only raft I don't want to use support because I don't need so I will choose export then I will put the file on the USB I will call it offset Then it will, you will have a new menu. It will show you preview and model. Okay, and it will show you the time. So here, it will take five hours, 20 minutes, and it will show you the, all the necessary that information. You click on preview, and then you will see the fi file. So this is the file. Okay. And then we close it. Now we go to the Once you go to the machine, you have to load the filament. After you load, it will tell you, did filaments come out of the nozzle? As you can see here, it is. So you can remove it. It has come out. See, I just load the filament. Okay. And here is the flash memory. Actually, the flash memory is inside the place for Flash memory is inside the machine itself. So you have to put it inside. Then here, let's follow the instructions. So yes, loading complete. Yes. Then we go to back. 
we go to print offset and then it will take five hours it we will say print and that's it it will start printing so how huge is the machine we did sample for this one this one this one here are the samples small samples to be honest compared to the machine see how big is the machine see how big So now the bed is heating and show us it's heating. What I'm trying to do, I'm trying to stop this machine and change the uh, color. So I'll show how it will make the auto feed. So once we are here, okay, so I will stop from here. I will click on stop. Cancel printing. I click on cancel printing. Please wait. Let's see what will happen. Still working. See, it did the first layer. Starting. the cancelling activated oh the machine will go down this is I think the bed will go to the initial position as you can see part of the blue has been printed part of the, of the blue has been printed and please wait Okay, cancelled. Now, what I'm trying to do now is I will update. This is the USB. I will update the file. I will add another file. Okay, so here is the machine. Here is the initial part. Okay. And I will click on load and click on unload yes unload I will close this one and it should be heated until 240 and then automatic upload I will pause for now. See? It should go down also. Now for the two forty. Eating venison. I will pause. Now, as you can see, it starts removing. So, just do like this. Now, here is the material. It's come out. 
So this is auto uh, unload. Okay. I will remove this material. I will add this material. And here, I will try to move this sharp edge. As you can see, I inserted this one. I will come here to load and load now. And it will reheat again and it will pull the part. As you can see, the, the bit will go to the home position and then reheating and then pulling. Okay, I'm going to loading complete. Back. The bar, new, oh, print, and that's it. Automatic heat for the nozzle, for the bed, and it will start printing. Now reheating, we will see the temperature for the nozzle and for the bed. I will leave you. Now it starts printing. Thank you. 